Hello everyone, this is Daily Developing here and today we're going to be going over an interview question that was asked by Facebook. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So given a list of strictly positive integers, partition the list into three contiguous partitions which each sum up to the same value, if not possible, return null. For example, given the following list, return the following three partitions, 3, 5, 8, and 8, 0, which all add up to 8. So the sums of all of these partitions equal to 8. And the sum of this big giant array is 24. So we split that into three, three partitions with each, each having the sum of 8. So you have to create a function that returns an array of partitions like so. So um, as always, I encourage you guys to stop the video, try to solve it yourself, and then come back to me. So if you haven't paused the video yet, do so now, because uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the solution. So first, what I would like to do is I would like to create a function called return three subsequences takes array as a parameter. Let's pass this for right now and let's print create three. Return three subsequences. And let's put this array here. Now what we have to do is, okay, so we are given this array and so we need to split it into three parts that, e or that have this equal sum. So what that means is, uh, let's just make this sum total of array. Yeah, so what that means is, that means the sum of the array needs to be divisible by three, right? So for example, if total in this case is not divisible by three, well then return none. You can't split it into three arrays to give you equal sum if if it's not divisible by three, then you can't really split it into three, right? So that's the first argument that you have to make. And then, which I will call uh, create three subsequences. And I'll, I'll take array, I'll take partition one, partition two, partition three, and the total. And this guy right here will actually calculate all the subsequences. So I'm going to make the subsequences equal to create three subsequences. Let's give it the array partition. Well, in this case, it's going to be just blank array, blank array, and the blank array, and then the total. Okay, so now in this function right here, I want to find all of the three partitions, right? How are we going to do it? So the way I want to do it is, let's let's take this array. Uh, so we're going to be using recursion. So if you haven't if you haven't uh, watched my recursion videos, do so now. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Uh, go ahead and check it out because a lot of uh, this concept actually requires you to know uh, some advanced dynamic programming, advanced like recursive skills. So think about it this way. The each, what you have to take, you know, the, what recursion does is instead of worrying about every single, uh, every single number, you can just worry about one number and then, you know, I guess put it in the recursion, right? So let's take the first number. We know that the first number will either be in partition one, partition two, or partition three. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to take, take the first number. Let's, let's say we put the first number in partition one and then return it in the recursion. If it doesn't work, we're going to be uh, give, we're going to give this number to partition two, and if the two doesn't work, lastly we're going to give it partition three. And you know, with, if that doesn't work too, then we just return none. Otherwise, we actually return the subsequences. So this way, we're going to make sure we we are going to make sure to put every single number in every single partition, pretty much, and we find the one pattern. The one we we need to find that three subsequences that match our requirements. 
So in this case, for example, what we'll do is let's do a clone partition of one. And I want to copy partition one. And the reason for that is I'm going to modify this parti clone partition one, but I also want to keep the original. So in the clone of partition one, let's append array of zero. So let's add the first number in partition one. Then we're going to create something called subsequences, where I'm going to make this equal to create three subsequences of array, and it's going to be array from one to length of array. So in this case, because we added the first number in, in first partition, now that means we got rid of it, got rid of it from array, right? We moved the first number from here, from this array, to the partition. So that's why now we skip the first number. Next, so instead of partition one, I'm gonna give it the clone partition. And then partition two and partition three hasn't changed. So I'm just gonna give it that and total is still the same. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is if the length of subsequences uh, equals to three. So in this case, we know that in this, this uh, subsequences will have three arrays. They'll have three partitions, right? And so if it does have these three partitions in them, well, there you go. That means we found the right subsequence. And if the partition one doesn't work, then we want to try to add it in partition two. So let's see, partition two, cop so quote with partition two, right? C clone partition two, and then add the first number in now in partition two. Here, what we're going to be doing is now we're going to make it. partition one is the same. The only thing that's different is partition two. So in this case, we took the first number and we added that in second partition, right? And again, if subsequent, if, if now this time it equals to three, good. If not, let's try to add it in partition three. So let's try this last one. And in this case, we could just return, return this guy. Array, and then partition one is the same, and it's the clone of partition three, right? So in this case, we know, okay, so if we got to this part, we know that this doesn't work. We can't add it in partition one. This returns none. We can add it to partition two. This returns none. So in this case, uh, even though if we can't really get anything from number three, then just return none. You know, there's, there's not much we can do here. So just like all the other recursions, we need to tell it when to terminate. So in this case, let's make this if sum of partition one equals to the sum of partition two, equals to the sum of partition three, and that equals to total divided by three. So if all of these equal to a third of the total, well then yeah, then we will just return partition one, partition two, and partition three. So then we found the right thing. So this is the first termination uh, variable. The second would be if the length of array is equal to zero. So if we just ran out of numbers. So in this case, if we're here, we know that these, these three partitions don't equal to a third of total. All right, so this isn't true. And then we, if we also ran out of numbers, then just return nothing. We'll just return a blank array. This is much, there isn't much you can do here, right? And so in here, now this yeah now this recursion works. This will find this will find the right subsequences if it, if they exist. So now what we have to do here is now if if the length of subsequences equals to zero. So if it returns this guy right here, then we know it's returned that. Otherwise. We're all return subsequences. So now, if we run this, so I accidentally put double brackets here instead of single brackets. Okay. So now, if we run this, yay! So we got the correct one. So the sum of first partition equals eight. Sum of second partition also equals eight. 
and sum of their partition also equals to a. So it works. So it just took this giant array and it split up into three partitions of equal size or of equal sum. So let's just see if, if it works. Let's just add three twos. So ideally what should happen is the first two should go in the first partition. This guy should go to second partition and this guy should go to third partition. And then all of them should equal, should have the sum of 10. Let's see, let's see what it does. Okay, so you added the first two here. So the sum of the first partition is 10. Sum of second is also 10. Sum of third is also 10. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please put thumbs up. It helps in the YouTube algorithm. And see you next time.